Oh, hey, how's it going, guys? Well, I was just going through my news feed here on my latest video, the Roblox S7 Max V Ultra. I posted about a day or so, and one of the comments that stood out was, LOL, those chainsaws in the house are a common problem. I'm like, what are you talking about? I don't have chainsaws in my house. Who knows? But there's another interesting comment as I was going down my news feed they, uh, from Richard Smith. He said, ha ha ha, just saw the commercial. It's funny. I like slapstick humor. Did you help write it? I'm like, slapstick humor? What's going on here? Well, let's go ahead and check out Roblox's latest video covering the S7 Max V Ultra. I guess it's funny, so let's just jump into it and I'll kind of give you my uh, thoughts on this new commercial they released. Alright, let's go ahead and check out Roblox's website here. Now, the first thing I noticed is the S7 Max V Ultra, but did you know Roblox released another model? Yes, the Q series. Well, there's not a lot of information about the Q-Series, but they're calling it the Q7 Max Plus. And if you look closely, you notice it does have self-emptying. Now, this is aimed for the mid-range world vacuum market, so it shouldn't be too expensive, but it does have a lot of navigation. Also, looks like it has the standard mopping system, not the vibrarize that you may find on the S7 series. Now, if we scroll down here, it has the extreme suction, long battery, 3D mapping. Now, it looks like it does have the new features that you may find on the S7 Max V Ultra. So I'm excited to see what the Q series has, how much it is, but until then, I don't know too much about the Q series. All right, let's go and jump back into the main attraction here, the S7 Max V Ultra. We'll check out the commercial and see how funny it is. I know apparently some of you thought it was pretty hilarious. Well, they got one thing right. The music is pretty groovy, my dance is terrible. Well, well, they're off to a great, great start. Um, besides the dancing dog in the background and the crazy music, you notice a couple things? The auto refilling tank. Yes, the S7 Max V Ultra has an onboard water tank, 200 milliliters. So it's great if you have precise water control needs. Maybe, for example, your kitchen area can have more water, and then you go to your living room area, less water. Now, the competition relies on pre wetting the mopping pad. Also, you may notice that there's a scraper bar which spins across the entire length of the mopping pad. It spins around 600 RPMs, so I think this method might do a little bit better getting the dirt and grime off the mopping pad in its self cleaning mode. But let's keep on going here. Whoa! Seriously, Grandma, do not wink at me. That's just the creepiest thing ever. Yep, I agree with these kids. Don't wink at me. Alright, yes, it has some interesting features. RGB camera, they call it the Reactive 2.0 system, and yes, it has the 3D map. Now, Roblox is saying that the QC is going to have this, so this is all probably done by software. Not sure how they're going to create a 3D map, if it, they're just going to apply, they're going to add predetermined images like couches, tables, and then they render it into the map, or it somehow uses magic and creates real life images of your furniture. But not only do you get a cool 3D effect, Roblox is also tying this 3D map into the cleaning zones. So for example, you can actually select on like the couch area and it will only clean around the couch area. I'm pretty sure Roblox will also do keep out zones as well. So for example, maybe doggy bowls will represent that on the map and you just select the doggy bowls and tell it to stay away from them. Very interesting. This is probably the most advanced looking map I've seen from like the competitors. The only other model I know of that does this is the 360S10 and well let's just say that was a sad attempt of 3D modeling. Alright let's keep on going. Alright yep like the S6 Max V Ultra or just the Max V uh, it does have video calling so, uh, unlike this model, it actually has two-way video calling. You can hear from the robot, you can talk to the robot. So I guess it's great if you are not home and you want to just check up on things, or if you do have pets and you want to keep them company, I guess you can use the robot to uh, talk to them. 
But, you know, me, as a parent, I'm pretty sure I won't be lounging around watching my kids make a mess. Alright, yes, we do have the sonic mopping. This is called the Vibrarize, so it can lift up about 4 centimeters off the ground, and it can handle low profile carpets and rolling mats without getting them wet. So that's a unique feature of the Vibrarize system. Also, notice that all low brush design, very similar to what the S7 did. Some people like it, some people don't because it may scratch the floors. So just be mindful of that. But nice thing about all low brush designs is they're very easy to remove the hair. It doesn't require a uh, cleaning tool. So pet owners with a lot of hair, maybe consider a all low brush bar design for your robot. Well, I gotta say, Roblox, you did a pretty good job with that commercial. There's definitely some hidden Easter eggs, especially with the dog dancing in the background, the kids making a huge mess in your living room, the mom sitting in a lounge area while the dad's trying to cook. Kind of a typical household situation. Alright, so stick around. I will have the SM Max V Ultra hopefully in February. That's what Roblox said. But I'll definitely keep you posted about the Q series. And if you haven't watched my videos, check them out. There's more information about the Dyad, the wet, dry mopping stick vacuum, and also the S7 Max V Ultra. All right, you guys be safe out this. I should have some more products coming down the pipeline. All right, thanks so much for watching. See you later.